Hi, and welcome to my Gran Turismo 5 review. Now the first thing that hits you are the graphics. They're incredibly detailed, but that's not to say they're without flaws. However, things like low textured backgrounds and clipping will always be in games. If you're looking for a game with lots of action and high speed crashes, then you'll have to get your fix from Burnout. At the start this game is pretty slow paced. You'll probably start off with a Honda Integra or a Suzuki Cappuccino. But eventually you'll make enough credits so you can get a Ferrari, or a Corvette, or a Dodge Viper. You can earn credits by doing both online and offline races. The offline races are split into three classes, C, B, and A. You start off in C and work your way up to A. As you play through the classes, you'll really notice the AI skill improve. At the start of the game, the AI will purposely screw up turning a corner, but by A class, they're perfect when they go around the corner. Once you beat A class, you unlock S class. After this point, you can tune your car. Separate to the classes, you can do arcade races. In these arcade races, you can do drift trials, time trials, and just regular racing. This game features both online and offline multiplayer. This was the developer's first attempt at online racing, and you can really tell it's just really frustrating when you turn a corner and someone runs into you, then you get penalised. It's just really aggravating when you're trying to race around properly. But once you start doing intermediate or expert races, people stop doing that. But when, when you're starting off in the beginner class, it's still very frustrating. So hopefully by the time Gran Turismo 5 comes out, they would have fixed the online. The offline multiplayer is pretty fun and runs surprisingly smooth. The sound is of a very high quality, with everything sounding as it would in real life. The music is okay, but I would prefer to have the option to put my own custom soundtrack in. Overall this game is pretty good, but it has questionable terms of value. So if you could, rent it. Otherwise, wait a little bit so you can buy it for a cheaper price. Thanks for watching my review, I'm giving this game an 8.7 out of 10.